Hey, people got along just fine for thousands of years without AA. Just like they got along for thousands of years without religion. I like you and have no reason not to. I like you and have no reason not to. Hey, did you hear about that magic baby that was born in Bethlehem? That's wild, Stacy. I'm a 12-year-old girl, too. My name's Jenny. Want to come over to my place and help me move? Hey, you're not a 12-year-old girl. Neither are you, Jenny. Huh. I guess we aren't so different after all. Yeah. You know, this isn't a whole lot of stuff. We can probably knock this out in an hour. We gotta find out where that party is and get Meg out of there. Yeah, you're right. God, what happened? It seems like just yesterday she was born. Mr. Griffin, would you like to cut the cord? Sure. Okay, that wasn't the cord, and now you've got a girl. Look at this note I sent off. Dear Pakistan. Up yours. Love, India. Let's see what happens. They did not need much. All right, Joe, let's lose the wheelchair and shoot this thing. Peter, I can't lose the wheelchair. I need it to move. Okay, yeah, but your character can walk. Peter, I'm handicapped. I can't walk. Okay, Chris, roll film and action. Joe, get out of the damn chair. Chris, get the cattle prod. <laughs> ah! Brian, I'm concerned something is very wrong with you. No, man, I've never felt better, beef stew. Bazinga! <laughs> like what the gay scientist says. Hey, Brian, say something else from TV. What you talking about, Phyllis? <gasps> ah, gross. He's getting his nose period. Oh, my God. We've got to get him to a hospital. Don't worry, Brian. I'll save you. I'm good in a crisis. After all, I used to work the suicide hotline. I... I just can't take it. I discovered my wife's been cheating on me for a while. And I just... I can't live like this. I have to kill myself. Doesn't it make more sense to kill her? This is what happened when we fertilized an egg from Shelley Duvall with a sperm from James Blunt. Here's Hilary Swank and Gary Busey. Florence Griffith Joyner and Stephen Hawking. Okay, I think that's enough. I got more funny ones. I got Tina Fey and Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, I think we're fine. A lot of face stuff going on in that one. Would an idiot have been able to rig this rig to that rig? Peter, that's nothing. Oh, is it? I died! I died! At least now no one's forcing us to watch those awful PBS documentaries. And now PBS presents Albino Children Are Normal. So, with the exception of not being able to go out in the sun, you're completely normal? Yes. The moon is my sun. I like to kill beetles. Beetles are teachers. I sleep with a fork. It's been three weeks and you haven't had a single job lead. Well, that's not true. I came really close with that job at the school. So what makes you want to be a crossing guard? I don't know, I just thought it would be cool to decide which kids do and don't get hit by a car. Stella, I need you to go to Chicago on Thursday. I can't. This week is the death game. Oh my god, this has been a 12-minute round. Why does every fight have to go to the death? Don't be afraid to be honest with a girl and show her who you are. Wow. Thanks, Lois. That's the second best advice anyone's ever given me. I don't know, man. Jesus, Hitler, Christ sounds weird. So just go with H. Yeah. Griffins have a long history of figuring stuff out. Like my great-grandfather, who invented the first marital aid. This gives me an idea. She's dead. We've got to stick together, like that two-headed girl on TLC. Okay, who wants to taste it, and who wants to smell it? Well, for the next 72 hours, I'm gonna be harder to find than a nice cat. You need me to clean out your litter box? Mittens! That's what all the star athletes do. Ugh, I'm so sick of all the special treatment they get, even during school shootings. Kevlar vest. Kevlar vest. Hold on. Are you a starter? These are for starters only. I'll be a starter next year. <laughs> Then next year, you can have a vest. This is trespassing and it's against the law. Maybe we should just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our families. Yeah, I tried that. I just spent most of the time testing Chris to see if he's autistic. <laughs> Not overly affectionate. Boy, what a great day for a baseball game. Yeah, and these are the best seats in the house for catching home run balls. Oh, that'd be sweet. The only souvenir I ever got was at that stock car race. <laughs> Ah, 
right, I got the guy. I got the guy. This is Kevin's first birthday since he came home from Iraq. Why does Kevin always sit at the bus stop but never gets on a bus? Please don't bring that up. Don't bring anything he does up. Hey, you guys. You're right on time. Kevin just woke up screaming from his afternoon nap. Mom, it's my birthday and you invited your friends. All yours are dead. I'll be honest, it was nice to be acknowledged by the chief for once. Usually he's just reminded me that whatever punk I'm roughing up ain't worth it. You son of a bitch! I ought to kill you right here! <coughs> hey! This punk's not worth it. You're right. You're not worth it. There you go, that's the spirit, buddy. There's a little bit of good in everyone. Except that president guy from the Hunger Games. He was pretty bad. This year, in addition to the Hunger Games, we're going to do the special Hunger Games. I'm Andy! I love you, Andy! Come on, guys, fight! Should've taken the shot, fat ass.